Okay, before we start lesson six, we've got some background knowledge we've got to go over. The book assumes that you know each of these following terms here and what they're talking about. So I think it would be wise if we just spent a little bit of time with each one and made sure that you really had covered it, and if not, that we cover it now. So the first term is vertical angles. And so let me do a brief demonstration on vertical angles. Okay, the two angles I have shown here, this angle A, E, D, and the angle C, E, B are considered to be vertical angles. They are vertical angles because they are created by when two lines cross. These opposite angles when two lines cross are called vertical angles. And if you notice, this is 46.4 degrees, and this one's 46.4 degrees. And if I move this, now this one's 77.67, and so is this one. And if I continue moving these, you're going to see that they are, in fact, identical no matter where I place them, which is what is specific about vertical angles, is vertical angles are always congruent. Now, the very important thing to remember is vertical angles are only the opposite angles whenever two lines intersect each other. They are opposite each other across that vertex where the two lines intersect. So on your worksheet, you need to fill in, um, well, I've already got the vertical angles are equal in measure, and we abbreviate that as vertical angles. Um, you need to add the diagram here to show that we've got two intersecting lines, and angle A is equal in measure to angle B. And then off to the side, you want to write vertical angles are equal in measure. So take a moment, write it down, pause the video, and then come back. Okay, the next type of angle we have is going to be our angle addition postulate. And let me go get a demonstration on that one. Okay, so when we've got our two angles, this angle B, angle or so angle B, A, D, that's one angle, and then angle D, A, C is another angle, and they have this side that they share. We call that side an adjacent side. So when they have an adjacent side like this, then the angle B, A, D, when I add it to the angle D, A, C, should give me whatever this angle B, A, C is, the big angle. And you can see that 40 degrees plus 30 degrees does give me the 71 degrees if you count the decimals. Now if I move this around, now I'm at 58.8 and 30.3, and that does, when I add them together, give you the 89.2. I can move that down. You can see that it's still going to remain. The two angles added together give you the angle, the big angle. I can move this around, and it's going to still hold true. The little one plus the big one does give you, or the, the two little ones do add together to give you the big one. So that is called our angle addition postulate. Okay, your angle addition postulate. So take a moment on your worksheet. You need to fill in the picture that shows you that the, this angle right here with the other angle. So I can put in some numbers here. Let me just put in a one for the small angle. Sometimes it's easier if you use numbers. And a two. Like this one. And then if I grab a marker and call that one out there. Angle three. Let me make this all look nice. So there we have it. The measure of this angle one, the small one over here, plus the measure of this angle two, the small one over here, would be the same as this measure of this angle three, which is the one that includes both of them. And that is our angle addition postulate. So take a moment, pause the video, and put that into your notes, into the worksheet notes that I gave you. Okay, the next idea are linear pairs. Linear pairs form supplementary angles. A linear pair means that this is a line, and these two angles here, this angle 1 and this angle 2, are 
together making the line. And it doesn't matter where I put this. I can put this over here. That's still angle one. I can put this over here. Still angle one and angle two. And if I add these two measures together, no matter where I put this ray, I'm still going to get 180 degrees. So angle one and angle two here do form a linear pair. They make up this line completely between the two angles. And so they have to be supplementary because they add to 180. And we know that an, a line is half of a circle. And so it is 180 degrees. So pause the video. Make sure you get that into your notes. Okay, the next part is if we just take and keep adding these rays shooting off here, and we still have this line that we've got down here at the bottom, and we can call that line, oops, that's not what I wanted, line L, hold on. There we go. That's the line L. So we've got line L, and all of these rays are shooting off of line L, making all these little mini angles. And if we add all these mini angles together, we still make up the whole line here, the whole way around to the line, from one edge all the way to the other. And again, I can move these around however I want. And as I move them, the angles change. But the fact that they all add up to creating the space that is 180 degrees does not change. So we say consecutive adjacent, adjacent means next to angles, on a line sum to 180. So this angle A and this angle B are adjacent. This angle B and this angle C are adjacent. And C and D are adjacent. So all of them are adjacent. They are consecutive. And they form or make up this line. And so A plus B plus C plus D, the measures, should be 180 degrees. We've got one more piece. Hopefully you, you pause the video and got this into your notes. Last piece. Um, if we have three angles, or four or five, however many it takes, and we place them so they go the whole way around a point, okay, they go the whole way around a point, then no matter where I put these rays, as long as they're going the whole way around, then if I add them together, I should get 360 degrees. And it doesn't matter that I have three. I could put in a fourth one here. Let me grab a fourth one. I'll put a fourth one out here. And that just means that angle one plus angle two plus angle three plus angle four would be 360 degrees. Okay? So all of the angles around a point, if you go the whole way around, should give you 360 degrees.